Greetings. Shabbat Shalom, everyone. Thanks for coming out tonight. Now, please join me in any of the blessings you wish, whether it's Hebrew, English, both, whatever your comfort level. We're starting off our Shabbat service with singing. This is the Kabbalat Shabbat portion of our service. By starting off with singing, we prepare ourselves for a day of rest and leave behind the stress and pressures of the previous week. Remember, the louder you sing, the better I sound. Before we go any further, I want to send out a special thanks to Dan Nichols, Rick Reck, and Steve Dropkin for letting us use their music. Remember, they let us use their music free of charge because they support our project. Thanks, guys. Okay, let me turn this off. And let's start off by singing the Hine Matov with Dan. Okay, here we go. Great way to start off our service. Great way. All right. Let's light some Shabbos candles, shall we? All right. Let's get your candles out. Get them lit. I've gone back to matches. What a concept. 
And all right, here we go. Well, maybe not. There we go. There we go. Come on, guys. All right. Alrighty. Okay, everybody. Say the blessing with me. Baruch Atah Adonai, Eloheinu Melech Halom, Asher Kedishanu, B'mitzvah Tav, Etzivanu, L'Hadlik Ner, Shel Shabbat. Blessed are you, Lord our God, ruler of the universe, who makes us holy with mitzvot, and commands us to kindle the lights of Shabbat. Okay, put those down. Let it burn out by itself. Now let's do the Kiddush. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu Melech Halom Borei Pari Hagafen Blessed are you, Lord our God, ruler of the universe, creator of the fruit of the vine. Blessed are you, Lord our God, ruler of the universe, who has sanctified us with divine commandments, taken pleasure in us, and with love and favor given us this holy Shabbat. You chose us and sanctified us from among all the nations. And with love and favor you gave us your holy Shabbat as a heritage. Baruch atah Adonai makadesh ha-Shabbat. Blessed are you, Adonai, who sanctifies Shabbat. <coughs> Oops, falling apart up here. Sorry. Okie dokie. Now it's time for the Baruch This is the official, no, well, I don't want to call it official. This is the call to worship, the formal beginning of our Shabbat service. First we'll say it, then we'll sing it along with Rick, okay? Baruch Hu et Adonai HaMarach. Praise God to whom our praise is due. Baruch Adonai HaMarach Le'olam Vayed. Praise be God to whom our praise is due, now and forever. Now let's sing it with Rick. And here it is. Thank you, Rick. Doesn't that just give a solid, beautiful beginning to our service? Love it. Okay, let's continue with the Ma'ariv Avrim. Blessed are you, Lord our God, ruler of the universe, whose word brings on the evening, whose wisdom opens heaven's gates, and whose understanding changes the times and seasons and orders the stars in their heavenly constellations according to the divine will. God creates day and night, rolling away light in the face of darkness, and darkness in the face of light, causing the day to pass and bringing on the night, separating day and night. God's name is the host of heaven. Blessed are you, Adonai, who brings on the evening. Baruch atah Adonai hamariv arabim. You have loved the house of Israel, your people, with an eternal love. Torah and mitzvot. Laws and precepts have you taught us. Therefore, Adonai, our God, 
when we lie down and when we rise up. We will recount your laws and rejoice in the words of your Torah and the mitzvot forever. Blessed are you, Adonai, who loves his people Israel. Baruch atah Adonai, Oheb Amo Yisrael. Okay, now it's time for the Shema. The Shema is the watchword of our faith. The Shema is so important, it's, it can't, you can't, there's too many ways to um, interpret, there's too many ways to see the Shema. Well, I found a new way this week. Uh, there's a young lady named Anna Brooks out of um, Detroit, Michigan, and she did this version First we're going to say it, then we're going to listen to her sing it. And it's just amazing, her version. You've got to, you've got to hear this. First, let's say it together. Shema Yisrael, Adonai Eloheinu, Adonai Elchad. Hear, O Israel, Adonai is our God, Adonai is one. Baruch Shem Kavod Malchuto Le'olam Vayed. Blessed is God's glorious kingdom forever and ever. Now, you're just going to be blown away by this young lady's version. Sorry about that. Uh, due to technical difficulties, I guess that's it. Um, but what you did here was really pretty wonderful. <laughs> Sorry about that. Uh, wonderful thing, technology, isn't it? 
but very talented young lady. I mean, we're talking, this is a teenager. This Anna Brooks, very talented. Um, she's part of Temple Israel, which is in a suburb of Detroit, Michigan. Phenomenal work they're doing there. Phenomenal. Okay. Let's do the Be'ahavta. First we'll do it in Hebrew, then let's do it in English. Be'ahavta et Adonai Elohecha Lochal levalcha uchal nafshecha uchal meodecha Vahayu hadvarim ha'ele Asher anochi mitzavcha hayom alubavecha Vishinan tam levanecha vidibarta bam Vashivtecha bavetecha uvlechvecha vaderech Ushachbecha uvkumecha Ukshartam leot al yadecha Bahayu la totafot bene necha Uf taftam al mezuzot betecha Ubi sharecha You shall love the Lord your God with all your mind, with all your strength, and with all your being. Set these words which I command you this day upon your heart. Teach them faithfully to your children. Speak of them in your home and on your way, when you lie down and when you rise up. Find them for a sign upon your hand. Let them be a symbol before your eyes. Inscribe them on the doorposts of your house and on your gates. Be mindful of all my mitzvot and do them. So shall you consecrate yourselves to your God. I, the Lord, am your God, who led you out of Egypt to be your God. Let's continue with the Hashkivenu. Let there be love and understanding among us. Let peace and friendship be our shelter from life's storms. Eternal God, help us to walk with good companions, to live with hope in our hearts and eternity in our thoughts, that we may lie down in peace and rise up to find our hearts waiting to do your will. Baruch atah Adonai haparei sukkot shalom aleinu va'al kol amo Yisrael va'al Yerushalayim. Blessed are you, Adonai, who spreads your sukkah of peace upon us and upon all the people of Israel and on Jerusalem. The people of Israel shall keep Shabbat, observing Shabbat, throughout the ages as a covenant for all time, as a sign for all time between me and the people of Israel. For in six days God made heaven and earth, and on the seventh day God rested from work and was refreshed. Okay, now let's do the Amidah. Adonai sifa tatiftach upi yagita hilatecha Adonai, open my lips that my mouth may declare your glory. Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu ve'elohe avutenu ve'imutenu, Elohe Abraham, Elohe Yiskach, Elohe Yaakov, Elohe Sarah, Elohe Rivka, Elohe Rachel, Ve'elohe Leah. Ha el hagado hagibibor fahanara el el yon gomel hasadim tovim vekone hako vizocher haste avot beima hot umevi gula live venehem aman shemova ahava melech ozer umashia umagen baruch atadonai Again, Abraham, Vaetz Ratzara. Atagi bor leolam Adonai, Mechaye ha kol atarav lehushia. Mechakel haim bechesed, Mechaye ha kol barachamim rabim. So mech no flim Um atir asarim, um kayem amunato li shene afar. Mi chamocha ba'al gevarot, um idom elach, 
מלך ממית אום חיי ומץ מיח ישועה בנאמן נטל לך חיות הכל ברוך אתה אדוני לחיי הכל You are holy, your name is holy, and those who are holy praise you every day. Blessed are you, the holy God. Baruch atah Adonai ha'el ha'kadosh. Eternal source of good, we thank you for the numberless gifts and blessings that fill our days, for life itself and its endless variety, for all that sustains body and mind, for love and friendship, for the delights of the senses, and for the excellence of your Torah, which deepens our day and enriches our days. Help us, O God, to work for a just and compassionate society where all may share your gifts in the joy of freedom. Grant us, pay, grant, use it for you to say, grant us peace, your most precious gift, O eternal source of peace, and give us the will to proclaim its message to all the peoples of the earth. Bless our country as a safeguard of peace, its advocate among the nations. May contentment reign within our borders, health and happiness within our homes. Strengthen the bonds of friendship and fellowship among all the inhabitants of the world. Plant virtue in every soul, and may the love of your name hallow every home and every heart. Baruch atah Adonai Oseh HaShalom. Please join me in a few moments of silent prayer. I've, you might want to just close your eyes, meditate on your week, meditate on the week that was, meditate on the week that's coming up. Meet you on the other side with Steve with Osei Shalom. Thank you. 
fuzzy. I just love that blessing, especially the way Steve does it. O oh, say shalom be ramav, hu yase shalom, aleinu va'al kol Yisrael ve'imru amen. May the one who makes peace in the high heavens make peace for us, all Israel, amen. Well, it's drosh time. First, we'll have some announcements, then we'll do a drosh. Well, first in the announcements category, Shabbat Shalom, y'all. Thanks for coming out tonight. Wow, there's a bunch of you, too. Thanks. Appreciate it. And um, upcoming events. Well, we're here in the office for a while. Uh, we're not going anywhere until uh, the end of the year, actually. Now, that can change. If you want us to come, just... Email, tweet, well, it's better if you email, but, or call, whatever, whatever floats your boat. Invite us to your community. Now, don't forget, this is for sure we're going to do this. For Hanukkah this year, which is the middle of December, we're going to do a food slash clothing drive, okay? We're going to fill food closets in Birmingham, it's the Collat Family Jewish Family Service. In uh, Mississippi, we're going to Jackson, Jackson, Mississippi. And I'm talking with the people up in Nashville, their federation. And if you have, if you know of somebody who has a food closet that needs to be filled, they always need to be filled. Okay. We're going to do a food drive slash clothing drive for Hanukkah. Because while we're having celebrating eight nights and we're saying the blessings, we're lighting candles, we're getting presents, we're eating jelly donuts, we're having latkes, we're having a heck of a good time playing dreidel. Where's my dreidel? While we're playing dreidel, while we're having a heck of a good time playing dreidel, there's people out there who are starving, literally starving to death. Okay. And then, of course, the slash clothing is going to be, there's a lot of homeless people out there who just can't stay warm. And, of course, in the middle of December, Hanukkah, it's going to be downright cold out there. So you've got to have an empty jacket, an empty sweater, an empty sweatshirt. You may think it's garbage, but you know what? Somebody else will appreciate it. Now, of course, brand new, um... That's what Walmart and places like that are for. Pick up some place, and I'll give you an address to send it to, and we'll get it to um, here in Birmingham. We're going to go help the Birmingham Hospitality Network, and Jackson, I'm working with them, and Atlanta, I'm working with them, and then um, in Nashville, there, the Federation's going to take care of it for us there. 
So we've got a nice, we still need Pensacola, we don't have any contacts there. We still need some more people in some more places, but this is going to be cool. Okay? Because remember, especially when we have it good, we have to think of others. We always have to think of the people who are less fortunate than us. Okay, enough pontificating. Pontificating. Drosh time. Okay? Shabbat Shalom, y'all. In this week's par Parsha, Noah, we meet Noah and his family, and we're told the adventure of the flood. We've all heard the great ark adventure. God tells Noah to build the ark and bring his family and a pair of every animal on the ark. Then God causes the great flood. It rains for 40 days and 40 nights. When the earth dries out, there's no life except what's on Noah's ark. Then God tells Noah and his family to repopulate the earth and the animals to reproduce. So you might be asking yourself, well, at least I asked myself, why was Noah chosen for his task? What made him so special? Noah is 600 years old. Yeah, 600 years old. And he's a Zadik. Now what's a Zadik? A wise and just man is the translation. The Parsha goes on to describe him as a man who walked with God. Okay. Walked with God. The rabbis tell us that Noah was a respectful and obedient man. He worked hard, treated his family and others well. He could be trusted when the world around him was corrupt. The world had become so corrupt that God decided to cleanse the earth and start over. Start anew. Noah is told to build the ark and who and what to bring with him. He didn't question. He went to work. He obeyed. Hmm. Noah doesn't sound that brave or wise to me. He followed orders. He obeyed. Not once he never asked, why? Why are you doing this flood? Why are you starting over? Why are you cleansing the earth? Why did you pick me? I find a contradiction here. A Zadik, a wise man, doesn't just blindly follow, does he? Would a Zadik just go along with discrimination? Does a Zadik let the government declare war on will? Does a Zadik not take care of people who are less off than him? Shouldn't we, he question? Forget about if we should question. Shouldn't he have questioned? Azotic is a wise and just man. Okay. So what was Noah thinking? Let's face it. How many people died in that flood? We're talking, whether they were corrupt or not, how many people died in that flood? How many animals died? The Parsha doesn't say that Noah was the only good man, only that he was a good man. Now, God gave us the ability to think, to reason, free will. Yet Noah just blindly obeyed. Is this really the actions of a Zadik, a wise and just man? Shabbat Shalom, Yom. Now it's time for Mishaberach. We wish anyone in the need of healing, whether spiritual or physical, our blessings to get well. Mishaberach avoteinu Makor habracha limoteinu May the source of strength who bless the ones before us Help us find the courage to make our lives a blessing. And let us say, Amen. Misha berach imotenum, mekor habracha lavotenu. Bless those in need of healing. With Rafua Shalama, the renewal of body, 
the renewal of spirit, and let us say, Amen. Let's do the Elenium. Let us adore the ever-living God and render praise unto you, who spreads out the heavens and establish the earth, whose glory is revealed in the heavens above, and whose greatness is manifest throughout the world. You are our God, there is none else. Banachnu korim umishpachavim umodim lifne melech hamlachim hakadosh baruch hu baruchu. Let the time be not distant, O God, when all shall turn to you in love, when corruption and evil shall give way to integrity and goodness, when superstition shall no longer enslave the mind, nor idolatry blind the eye. O may all created in your image become one in spirit and one in friendship, forever united in your service. Then shall your realm be established on earth, and the word of your prophet fulfilled. Adonai will reign forever and ever. Vayom hahu yeye Adonai echad ushmo echad. God spread out the heavens and established the earth. You are our God, there is none else. In truth you alone are our sovereign. As it is written, Know then this day and take it to heart. The Lord is God in heavens above and on the earth below. There is none else. Now our thoughts turn to those who have departed this earth, our own loved ones, those whom our friends and neighbors have lost, the martyrs of our people whose graves are unmarked, and those of every race and nation whose lives have been a blessing to humanity. As we remember them, let us meditate on the meaning of love and loss, of life and death. We recall the loved ones whom death has recently taken from us, those who died at this season in years past, and those whom we have taken into our hearts with our own. If it is your custom, please stand and recite the Kaddish with me. Yit gadal v'yit kadash shemei rabah, ba'ama divrara chute v'yimlich ma'chute v'chayichon uv yomechon Uv chaye de chal beit Yisrael bagala uvizman kariv beimru amen. Yahe shleme rabav mimrach leolam olama amaya yitbarach viyishpa ach viyitpa ar viyitma am viyit nase viyit hadar viyit hale viyit halal shme de kudasha berchu laila min kol berchu ta veshirata. Tishbachata, Bani Machata, Da Amiran, Baoma, Be Imru, Amen. Yahe Shame Raba Min Shemaya, Bahaim Alain, Baal Kol Yisrael, Be Imru, Amen. O say Shalom Bibrama, who ye say Shalom, Alainu Baal Kol Yisrael, Be Imru, Amen. May the source of peace and peace to all who mourn, and comfort to all who are bereaved. And together we say, Amen. May God bless you and keep you. May God deal kindly and graciously with you. May God bestow favor upon you and grant you peace. We leave our service tonight the same way we welcomed it in, with a nagun. Let's join Rick with Nagun Chaim. La 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 
Shabbat Shalom, y'all. Have a good week. Have a sweet week. Have a productive week. Remember, we'll see you back here next Friday night, same time, 7 p.m., Shabbat services. Have a good Shabbat. Shabbat Shalom. Thank you.